How is it going everybody? You're watching Then About Tech and today I bring you the best, the coolest and the most hidden and secret iOS 26 features. Let's go ahead and get started. Starting with the battery. So when you go ahead and plug in your iPhone and it starts charging, you go ahead and open up your settings, then you go to battery and you can easily see right here how long it'll take for the battery to reach 80% and a hundred percent it's always 80 percent right as you know charging your battery to 80 percent is the best way to have a longer healthier battery life in the long run so it indicates very easily for us right here but better than that if you go ahead and lock your iphone you see that right here in the lock screen it'll show you as well the time remaining to reach 80%. This is very cool. Still here in the battery section, which is completely new, as you can see, if we scroll all the way down until we get to power mode, you see that we have a new option called adaptive power, which by default is turned off actually. It's because I'm already using it. So as you can see right here, this is so cool. Your iPhone will understand when you're using your iPhone a little bit more than usual. So if your usage is higher than usual, and then it'll actually adapt and help you actually make your battery last a little bit longer. So make it last to the end of the day, pretty much. And it'll do that by dimming the display a little bit. So making it a little bit less bright, uh, making some activities take a little bit longer. So making your iPhone a little bit slower, like low power mode, right? And actually, it'll actually enable low power mode automatically when it's at 20% off battery. Not every time, but if it thinks you need. Of course, it's all using machine learning and understanding your habits. And as you can see, I'm already using it. It's so good. Moving on, if we jump back to our settings and scroll down a bit until we get your camera, and then scroll all the way down, the last option is called Lens Cleaning Hints. And this is so cool. So you know when you go ahead and open up your camera to take a photo or a video, and you realize that the image is not really good, is not really crisp, sometimes when you go ahead and point to lights and things like that, you get this weird halo effect. Generally, it's because of the camera, of the lens being dirty. And now in iOS 26, you're gonna get a pop-up indication right here saying your lenses are dirty, clean them. I've tried to make them dirty, like the front camera, the back camera as well. I just couldn't, uh, but you gotta understand it's still a beta, but this is an amazing feature. Now I wanna talk about two awesome new features in the phone app. One of them I've actually used today which is this one. This is a screenshot I took today. It's in Portuguese because my phone was in Portuguese at the moment, but you're gonna see something like this. Hold this call. The feature itself is called Hold Assist. So you know when you're talking to someone like a call center or something, and then they put you on hold, your iPhone will automatically detect that and show this little pop-up where you can simply tap on hold and then you can leave the phone app, do what you wanna do, open up social media, play music, you can do whatever you want, and then when the assistant actually goes ahead and says, hey Daniel, you're there, then you're gonna get a notification right here, you tap on it, and of course, it goes back to the phone call. This is hold assist, and it's super, super cool. But it gets better than that. If we open up our settings and then come back to the first screen and then on search, we go to phone. I wanna show you this because it is so cool as well. So tap on phone and then you scroll down and keep scrolling, keep scrolling. You have this other amazing new feature called screen incoming calls. This is called call screening. Apple actually mentioned this feature in the keynote, but they didn't explain it very well. So I'm gonna explain you right now. So you know when somebody phones you and then it's an unknown number. So if you have this feature enabled, this is what is gonna happen. You're gonna see screening call, just this little pop-up right here, okay? You won't hear the phone ringing, vibrating, or anything like that. And then your iPhone, like a robot, will actually talk to the person and ask, who are you and what do you want? Not exactly like that, but pretty much. And then when the person replies back, your iPhone will automatically create this little screen right here saying it's maybe the name of the person and what they actually said. So what the conversation they actually had. 
and then it's gonna show you right here and then it's gonna start ringing. So then you can go ahead, slide to answer or not, but you'll know already pretty much who's the person and what they want. So think of it like an assistant as well, who's there to pick up your calls and do this kind of chat with the person, see what they're up to, and then they'll let you know so you can decide if you're gonna pick up the call or not. Now let's talk about a feature in the Clock app, which has a completely redesigned icon, but the app itself is pretty much the same, but we have a cool new feature. If you tap on any alarm, right here we have a new option called snooze duration before we just had the possibility to enable or disable snooze now we can actually choose the duration which by default is nine minutes and everybody has always asked why why nine minutes now you can choose if you want to make it make it for example 10 minutes or 15 or maybe five so it's up to you you can go ahead right here tap on it tap on the check and then you're good to go. A small thing, but I'm sure you loved it. Now let's talk about the new screenshot and visual intelligence. Check this out. So let me open up the Instagram app. This is my Instagram, by the way. So if you go ahead here and open up a post, for example, it can be done on anything, okay? So let me go ahead and take a screenshot right now. And as you can see, it's completely different, right? So the first thing I wanna show you is now you can simply go ahead and dismiss the screenshot just like that. So let's say you took a screenshot, you wanna zoom in to take a look at something, for example, like this, whatever, but you don't want the screenshot anymore. You can just dismiss it before you would necessarily have to choose if you wanna save it or move it to the trash, right? Now let's do it once again, screenshot. And then as you can see, you still have the option on the check right here where you can tap on the check and then you can choose what you wanna do if you want to keep the screenshot. So save to photos, files, quick note, or delete. But keep in mind, when you delete, it actually goes to the trash, okay? So it stays registered on your phone, all right? This is important. But more than that, now we have visual intelligence here on your screenshot. So let's say you saw anything on your iPhone, on any screen, any application, absolutely anything. Like for example, this car, which is an Aston Martin, right? What you can simply do is use visual intelligence to ask what it is, and this is using Apple intelligence and ChatGPT, or you can Google search it. So it's your visual intelligence inside your screenshot. So let's say, for example, you wanna know about something on the screen. You can just draw on it, right? So I wanna know what is it? And then I can swipe up for image search, as you can see right here, it's searching from Google, as you can see, and then I got the car, take a look at this. I got posts, Instagram, uh, like social media, official website, and so on. So this is so, so cool. If you see anything on your phone that you wanna know what it is or you wanna check it out, or if you wanna buy, you can just go ahead, take a screenshot, and then search right here using visual intelligence. This is so good. Let's open up the camera app once again, and let's say you wanna check your camera settings, either for video or for the photo. You have two options. You have this button right here, which can be very hard to reach and tap because it's very small, as you can see, depending if you are like one-handed, it's pretty much impossible, but you can simply swipe up right here and then you have the same menu. So if you are holding your iPhone like that, you can simply do that, and then you have your menu with your options. Now let's talk about something else that Apple mentioned, but not everyone knows how to actually get there, which is this. If you go ahead and tap and hold anywhere on a blank area on your home screen, and then tap on edit, and then you go to customize, right here you can make your icons completely clear. So you can make them clear in dark mode or in light mode, as you can see, which was really, really used in the keynote and so on. In my opinion, it looks hideous. It looks really bad. So I'm going back to default. But if you want to do that, now you know where it is. Now let's head back to our settings and this time go to cellular. If we scroll down just a bit, we have here our eSIM management, where you can delete our eSIM or add a new one, right? Now, if you go ahead and tap on add eSIM, and then it's gonna take a while to load for some reason. And then if we tap on other options, 
we have the possibility to transfer from Android for the very first time. So if you have an Android phone with you and then the eSIM is on the Android phone, and if you wanna transfer to your iPhone, you can simply tap on this option. It's gonna open up a QR code. You can read with the Android and then go through with the steps and then transfer from Android to iPhone. Unfortunately, we can't do it the other way around just yet from iPhone to Android. Of course, we're gonna need to wait for Android to have that feature, but this already is very good. Now, if we go ahead and lock our iPhone, we get to the lock screen and then you're listening to music or you were listening, right? You can go ahead and tap on the artwork and then the artwork will actually go full screen, as you can see. And then you can just go ahead and go to the next song and so on. And then you get like a theme, right? The whole display will get to that color. It, got, it looks really well integrated. It still looks good even with the screen off, as you can see. And then as you can also see the time, which was pretty big right here, goes to the top, leaving space to your artwork. And of course, if you don't want it anymore, just tap on it and then it goes away. Since we're here on the lock screen, let me show you some awesome customization. If you tap and hold on it and then tap on customize, you can now go ahead and make your clock, your time really large if you want to. And as you do that, and you can leave it exactly where you want, okay? So there are no specific slots. You can leave it exactly where you want. And as you notice, your widgets actually go down when you do that. So if you don't like your widgets right here at the top, as you go ahead and make your time larger, they go to the bottom, which I think looks very cool and neat. We have the controls here and widgets. It just looks different. So it's just an awesome way to customize your lock screen a little bit better. And on top of that, if you tap on the clock itself, on the font itself, you can choose between glass and solid. So you can make it really like glassy, as you can see, or a little bit more white. And of course, between glass and solid, which looks like completely normal. And you can choose as well if you wanna make them thinner or bolder, as you can see in the font and so on. So really cool new customization. And now, last but not least, let me talk about a new feature called Spatial Scene. So this is a normal photo of myself, right? And on some specific photos of people, objects, and pets as well, you're gonna have this new icon right here. And as you tap on it, it's gonna generate a spatial scene. So check out the image now, and you realize it's zoomed in a little bit, right? But not only that, as you move your phone, it's like a movie. You can definitely see on the camera, right? Of course, it, it, looking at it with my naked eye, of course I can see it way better, like moving super, like this 3D effect and so on. Uh, I believe on camera is gonna be a little bit harder because it's 2D, of course, but I believe you can definitely tell, like it's, it's really like I'm in front of the time, right? So this is so cool. And of course I can make the time larger or smaller, make it be like a little bit behind my head or in front of it. So this is so, so cool. It's called spatial scene. And not only that, if you open up the photo or any photo capable of doing that on your photos app and you tap on it, you're gonna see this icon when spatial scene is available. So you can tap on it and then it's gonna generate a spatial scene as you can see right here, giving you the exact same effect. I do recommend that you test it out with pets. It looks so, so nice. So that's pretty much it guys. A video showing you my favorite, what I think are the coolest, most special, and also hidden in secret iOS 26 features. Of course, there are tons and tons of content coming up in the following days and weeks. This is an amazing, huge software update. I'm so excited. Hope you guys are too. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you on my next video. Bye-bye guys.